last Shabbos, we continued the saga of Yaakov Avinu, of Jacob, our forefather. And really, that whole saga that we read about in Vayetze can be divided into three sections. There's the section where Jacob leaves his home. He leaves Israel to go outside of Israel. Then there's the part where he meets his wife, sets up his family, has some kids. And then at the end of the Parsha, we find that Jacob takes his whole family and goes back home to Israel. I think there's one common thread that ties them all together. And it's so reminiscent of our lives and something we can learn from Jacob about our lives. You know, we all reach that point, right, that stage in our lives where we look back and we say, you know, my parents love me so much and they've almost always been right in what's best for me. But you know, now I'm a little older now I have to learn from all my experiences, and it turns out I have to do what I think is right for me. I have to start paving my own path in life. After that beginning stage, we, we settle into a routine and we start to think, you know, I can't just live for myself the whole time. It's time to find a spouse, set down roots, start a family. And then after I set up my family, then it's time to, to forge that next path in life. What am I going to do now? What, what can I do to help make the world a better place? I have to find my future. Very similar to what Jacob was doing in this saga. And that common thread that ties it all together is that he was never alone. The Almighty was there with him every step of the way. Now, of course Jacob knew that. Jacob, our forefather, was a prophet. Of course he knew that God was there all around all the time. You know the nice Uncle Moshi song? Where is God? Up, up, down, down, left, right, and all around. Here, there, everywhere, that's where God can be found. Jacob knew that. But as a human being, on the cusp of a new part of my life, I'm sure that Jacob, just like all of us, had a little fright, a little fear. That's when God stepped in. He said, I know you're scared, but you don't have to be because I'm right there with you. And when you leave your father's house, when you're fleeing from your brother who wants to kill you, I'm going to help you out. You don't have to worry. I know you're nervous. You think, what kind of girl can love me? How am I going to find that perfect woman? Don't worry. He says, God, I'm there. You don't have to worry. I got your back. And when we think about supporting that family, setting out for our future, how can we do everything we need to do in life? God says you don't have to worry about it. Because when I'm with you, there's nothing that you can't do. And look at everything that Jacob did. Embarked on his own path as his own man. Married the perfect wives. Became the forefather of all 12 tribes of Israel and went on to change the world in so many ways. And for Jacob, he knew he could do it. Because every step of the way, every time he'd start to get scared, every time he felt that trepidation, all he had to do was remember, well, God was with me before, he'll be with me now. We can do that same thing when you're feeling down, when you feel like you can't do something, when you're, when you're encountering a difficult challenge in your life, remember that you're not alone. Remember that the Almighty is there. And remember that if you're walking with the Almighty, there is absolutely nothing that you can't do. I wish you all a very, very good week, a fantastic Shabbos. If you like the video, please click subscribe below. Have a good one.